What's up guys, Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. So today I've got my hands on the brand new Xiaomi Box S. Now this box is basically the Mi Box 4. And the original Mi Box which was released in 2016, this one here, is called the Mi Box 3. So this was the Mi Box 3 and the new 2018 model is called the Mi Box 4. So what are the main differences between these boxes and how good is the new 2018 box? We will indeed find out today in this video. So I will put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. So we have the S905X quad-core CPU with the Mali 450 and two gigs of DDR3 RAM and eight gigs of internal storage. We have dual band Wi-Fi AC with a gigabyte LAN port. You've got Bluetooth 4.2, Chromecast with Google Assistant. You've got the official Android TV OS on top of Android 8.1 Oreo. This supports 4K HDR at 60 frames per second with HDMI version 2.0A. And this also supports Dolby Audio, DTS HD and 5.1 surround sound. So this is everything you get in the box beginning with a user manual. We have a European power adapter and the voltage is 5.2 volts, 2.1A. HDMI cable. A remote control. I can straight away see that the remote control does look different from the previous model. So we do have a dedicated Netflix button and a live button. And this is powered by two AAA batteries. So last but not least, the Xiaomi box itself. So here it is guys, the Mi Box S. So you can see we've got a very nice compact design here. Nothing on the front or the side. And on the back we have our 3.5mm audio. HDMI out, a USB port and also a power socket. So nothing else on the side and that brings us back to the front. This is what the bottom of the box looks like. So a very compact TV box, it does feel a lot smaller than the previous version and speaking of the previous version, I will bring that in right now. This is the Xiaomi box 2016 on the left and of course the 2018 on the right. So side by side, this is how they fare. If I put the 2018 on top, you can see that the older version is slightly bigger. However, the newer version is slightly thicker. So if we compare the ports, the 2018 model is on the bottom. You can see it's exactly the same setup there, exactly the same ports. Not only that, you've got exactly the same specs. Um, I believe we've got Bluetooth 4.2 in the new box um, and the old box I believe has Bluetooth 4.0. Apart from that, all the specs are identical. The design is slightly different. It's a little bit more compact. Now the main differences between these both models, first of all, is the packaging. You can see the packaging is much smaller. You're getting exactly the same accessories except you've got a smaller box on the new version. Not only that, the other major difference between these boxes is the remote controls. So you can see the new remote on the right has a dedicated Netflix button and a dedicated live button. You've also got a Google Assistant button there. So previously you had a microphone button. The volume control power button is all still there. And we also have an apps button. So it looks like it's going to be a much better remote control um, with more functionality. And I do look forward to testing this out. So now I'm going to get this hooked up to my TV and capture card and we are going to find out how good this box really is. I'll be right back. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test and this TV box took 33 seconds to fully load the home screen from a cold start. Now this is the official Google Android TV OS version Oreo. It is the legit licensed version, meaning everything will work as it should, including Google Chromecast, Google Assistant, licensed Netflix, etc. Now, if you're not familiar with Google Android TV OS, I'll give you a quick rundown. So on the top left, you've got your voice search and your keyboard search that so you can type. You've got your main settings over here and then you have your apps. Now, the first row of icons is your favorite apps and you can add more apps to the app drawer by hitting the plus sign and selecting your favorite apps. These are all the apps installed on the system as standard. You've got Netflix, YouTube and the Play Store. Now, if we have a quick look at the Play Store, you will see that this is the limited Android TV version of the Play Store. So this is not the full version of the Play Store as you would have on your smartphone. It is a limited version. But the plus point is you can sideload any app you like via the USB drive or by Sectors Play. You then have dedicated sections for Netflix, Google Movies and some other sources showing you what you can watch next. Now these sections can be fully customized from the bottom icon and you'll be able to add and remove stuff accordingly. 
So next up, we are going to check out settings. And I did say that this is the official licensed version of Android TV OS. And the first test that you would do to find out if it is or not is Google Chromecast. So this does have Google Chromecast. So you can pick up your smartphone, open a YouTube video and cast it straight to the TV box. So I'm going to test this out and show you that this does work absolutely fine. So I'm just casting one of my YouTube videos from my Huawei Mate 20 Pro and as you can see it's successfully linked immediately. It's playing the video and I can control it from my smartphone. So Chromecast works great. So quick look at sound settings. This box does support Dolby DTS and 5.1 surround sound. Now let's check out the system storage. This box has 8 gigs of internal storage from which we have 4 gigs free to use. So the system storage is quite low on this box, but there is a workaround. All you do is connect a USB drive. So I just connected my 64 gig SanDisk USB stick. And as you can see, it has come up. Now, if I click on that drive, I will have the option to erase and format as device storage. So it will delete everything on the stick and it will convert that to internal storage. So then you will have 64 gigs of internal storage, including what you had before, giving you a total of 69 gigs. So this is a workaround which works basically on any Android TV box. Now if we have a quick look in about, you will see that we are running Android version 8.1.0. So now we're going to play some 4K video samples from a USB drive, but unfortunately there is no media player built in. So I'm going to show you how to get one of the best media players. Go to the Google Play Store and click on search. Now just type in K. Well what you're typing in is Kodi, but as soon as you type in K you'll see the Kodi icon then just click up twice, select Kodi and download and install it. So we are now ready to play some 4K video samples from a USB drive. So let's go ahead and play the first file. So this TV box does a great job of 4K videos at 60 frames per second. So let's move on now to the YouTube test. And you can stream a maximum of 4K on YouTube. Once we get into the house, whatever she asks you to do, you're gonna have to do it. No excuses. be greater than a king. A hero. This is gonna be fun. He wiped out 50% of all living creatures. That's a dangerous animal. If you can stay in there for more than five seconds, you're in the program. So let's move on now to the gaming performance test. I've been stuck here for ages. All right, let's roll. Follow me. I know it's okay. Watch out! Okay. Now this box supports Google Widevine level one. The box does not come rooted as standard. So in the Wi-Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 46 megabits per second and upload speeds of 9 megabits per second. We are currently achieving a top speed of 50 megabits per second. And here are your results for Geekbench. We got multi-score of 1800 
And if we move on to the Antutu benchmark test, you will see a result of 34K. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top performing Android TV box chart for 2018, showing you all the latest TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. So as you can see, the new Xiaomi Box S has taken position 48 on this chart. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the new Xiaomi Mi Box S. Now this box is exactly the same as the original Mi Box and the only difference is the remote control and possibly better Bluetooth version. Apart from that, this is exactly the same in performance, specs and features. Now bottom line, this is still one of the best Android TV boxes you can buy which offers smooth 4K streaming in YouTube, Netflix, Kodi and some other sources. Now I can't seem to find Amazon Prime for this box but nevertheless the streaming quality, Wi-Fi speeds and general user experience is amongst one of the best I have tested throughout this year. It's an official Google and Netflix licensed product and you still have the flexibility to sideload any of your favorite third party APKs and apps. Now the 8GB storage is definitely on the low side and I think it would have been better if Xiaomi gave us at least 16 gigs with this new model but you can still convert USB drives to internal storage and with that being said I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.